Welcome to another week of Craft Time with the Payson Library. This week we're talking about our imagination and I have kind of a fun craft for you today but make sure you have your imagination brains going for this craft. Okay so for this craft you need scissors and glue, some markers or pencils, color pencils, crayons, anything you can use to write or draw with. We're going to need some plain white paper and you're going to need lots of different magazines or newspapers or ads from the new, uh, that came in your mail, anything like that that you can cut up. Okay, so the craft we're making today is this fun little imagination thinking brain picture. So I'm going to show you how to make one. So the first thing you're going to have to do, I drew myself here and you can do the same thing. Draw the, your head um, on the bottom of the piece of paper. Uh, if you want, you could also get a picture of yourself um, and cut that out and glue that on the bottom. Either way, you need a picture of some sort on the bottom of the page of you. And then you're gonna draw a big, like kind of cloud shape above your head. And that's gonna be kind of what your brain is thinking. So when you finish doing that, it'll look, just look like this with the face and then the empty big cloud. So the fun part that you're gonna do next is you're gonna gather up some old magazines or ads or whatever you can find that you can kind of cut up. Um, if you don't have anything, you can just draw, that's fine too. Uh, but I'm gonna show you kind of my method on gathering pictures from these old magazines I have to create my thinking bubble. Now, you could go in a couple different directions with what you want to fill in this empty space. You could fill it up with maybe ideas for an invention that you have or an idea of something that you think might happen in the future. You could do something like that in the bubble or you could just think, okay, what are the things that my mind thinks about a lot? Or what are the things that I like to imagine? Or what are things that I like to think about? And you just kind of collect those images. So it's up to you what you wanna fill it with, but fill it with some sort of picture or image. So, I'm going to kind of show you how you do that. So um, I just flipped through these magazines a minute ago and kind of folded over a couple um, pages that I thought were kind of cool. So this page has some uh, stars in the sky. So maybe I like thinking about space or um, the stars or astronauts or whatever. There's all sorts of different things that this could represent. So that's gonna be one of the things, so I'll put that aside. Okay, let's see. Maybe I like playing basketball. So I found a basketball picture in here. So I'm gonna cut out that. It's just a little picture of a basketball. Um, let's see. What do they like from this one? Ooh, maybe I like thinking about yummy treats. One of the things I love to eat are chocolate covered strawberries. I think those are super yummy. So I'm gonna include that. And this could mean I just like chocolate covered strawberries, or maybe it means that I imagine a world where all we eat is chocolate covered strawberries. Or maybe I imagine a world where chocolate covered strawberries were as big as my house. There's all sorts of different things that that could mean. So get creative on what you think each picture in your, in your brain means. Now maybe I, really like Christmas time or winter time and I like doing things like ice skating. So I have this picture here. Ice skating picture I'll include. Um, 
flowers. I love pretty flowers. So I'm going to cut out a picture of a flower here. And this one is some horses. I love horses. They're beautiful animals. So I'm going to cut out this horse here. There we go. Let's see. Oh, this one is a dinosaur. It's a triceratops head that I'm going to include. So once I've gathered up a bunch of different pictures, I'm going to lay them out on top of the cloud above my head, kind of the position that I want them in and fill up that space. And I may need to trim some of these a little bit more, make them a little smaller so I can fit everything. And stuff can kind of overlap or it doesn't have to. To you. So once you kind of got those laid out, um, you're just gonna go ahead and glue all of those down. got them all glued down like that. Now you can go ahead and add a few other things. If you couldn't find pictures of certain things that you'd like to include, you can draw those things in there. So let's see. I think maybe I'll draw me with a friend. I'll draw the sun and just whatever else you think of. So I, what I chose to do is just kind of a collection of things that I like or enjoy thinking about or ideas that I have, just kind of things like that. But like I said earlier, you could make this one cohesive kind of image which means just like one picture that is kind of takes over the whole thing and has lots of different parts, but is all worked together. So it could be an idea for an invention. You have all the different parts of the invention and that's all you put in the cloud. That works too. Just get creative, think about what you like thinking about and make a representation of that in your cloud. So one fun extension idea you could do with your uh, drawing is bring this to one of your family members or friends that hasn't seen it yet and show it to them and see if they can guess what all of the different pictures represent or what your picture represents. See what they can, uh, what they think that they can tell what's going on in your brain and see if they're right or they're wrong. That would be kind of fun. So it's kind of a simple craft this week, but I hope it got you thinking and I hope you had fun with it. So I'll see you guys, not next week, because uh, we won't have a story time because of the 4th of July holiday, but the next week, I'll see you again for another craft time. Bye.